Next, we've got here, courtesy of Hypebeast, we've got news of the fucking awesome's new flagship store in New York, which is a definitely a good sign that they are selling a lot of products, it seems like, which I'm not surprised by because it feels like I see a lot more people around my way wearing fucking awesome and I don't live anywhere trendy. So if I'm seeing people around my way wearing this brand, for sure, it's definitely popped through into the cultural zeitgeist and into the mainstream, which is great for them because it's making money now. I guess if you're a cool trendy kid and you jumped onto fucking awesome because you were one of the heads that knew about Jason Deal and you knew about photosynthesis and you knew about old school Supreme Days and the old stuff from back in the store, you would be a little bit pissed off because that little brand that you cared about so deeply and held close to your heart is now basically a mainstream brand that's kind of been you know shopped around in places and you know sold in different places or not store in different places but like you've seen it in different places and you're kind of aware of what the brand looks like and all that sort of good stuff but i do really really like their idea they have for interior design when it comes to their stores it does look quite how do you say not reductive it does look quite you know samey as everyone else store but it still has a quintessential fucking awesome jarringness about it do you know what i mean it's a little bit edgy a little bit kitschy a little bit you know um off kilter and i like that about it from the prints on from the collage prints works i'm sure um jason dill did all himself to how they are quote unquote displaying or stocking the decks to the counter it's just got a little edge a little kind of twist that's very quintessentially what they do so i'm really pleased to see they've kind of utilized which looks like quite a small shoe store shape into whatever it looks like now you know it kind of looks like it reminds me of a little bit it looks like a brighter version of like the old a life store is it the rivington one whatever it was called it kind of has a similar sort of shape to it. i guess most retail stores in new york have kind of got the similar sort of layout anyway in terms of their you know how it's laid out in terms of you know what it looks like you know in terms of the massive um rectangle corridor thing you walk down or the big square that kind of supreme have right they're basically the main two shapes that you have um but i still like what they did with it i really am a big fan of it overall it looks like they did like a little opening skate jam as well let's look at the article quickly and then we can move on to the next bit it says here after opening its flagship store in Los Angeles at the iconic Hollywood Boulevard, fucking awesome has now headed to the East Coast. So they've got two stores already, man. They're smashing it. Um, this time around, Los Angeles based imprint founded by skate the icons Jason Dill and Anthony Van Elgen um, has set up shop in East Village neighborhood of Manhattan. The location is designed by Jordana Maisi Design Studio, it carries core elements of the FA. Um, Jason Dill's signature collage works are accented and painted walls, transparent deck holders, and angled racks with a trace of reflective mirrors riddled throughout guests are also greeted by a window display that will refresh to help create a defined space and centered around imagery and in energy behind ea um fa sorry so i guess this shop window here will probably get changed they'll have different little installations and people put in their works of art there they've got the quintessential bench that everyone's going to be trying to cat to sit down and smoke cigarettes and look cool at i'm not sure if you're going to be allowed to sit there i don't know what the etiquette is in america when it comes to these benches if it's just for everybody or for just staff members they've got a little bit of a stoop there you can sit down in they're going to be blaring loads of smith's records and shit through the speakers i'm assuming right it's going to be great to see so yeah big up the big up fa the store looks fucking great the new collection i really like too there was a silver was it fa there silver jacket yeah silver there like a silver crunched up coach's jacket i think i saw that looks fucking amazing so yeah um if you're if you're looking for something again an alternative to supreme which again i keep bringing them up but just because you know jason dill obviously is from a graduate from that you know og crew i definitely recommend fucking awesome it's and and i like because obviously jason dill has a very unique kind of grown-up you know teenage kind of style in, in himself it offers up some very interesting pieces in terms of bits of clothing i'm not sure how much anthony kind of in, imbues in the kind of design of the clothing i know he kind of handles more of the hockey stuff in it but in general i think it's a good mix it's got a really young team a really young team of skaters and then also he's got him as being the old fogey so he's able to kind of design on both planes so he'll give you a cardigan and he also give you some t-shirt that's got some middle finger on it or something you know what i mean i love all that shit man i love all that shit move on next we've got here quickly look at the stussy holiday 2021 edition again this is a bit of old news but still another reminder of just how great these guys are doing when it comes to doing collections i don't think they can really miss so far um everything has been great from what i've seen 
um, this is a lot of knitwear um, again looks really good great colors construction you know it reminds me of too it kind of you know it's kind of like um maybe that's why they decided to collaborate with our legacy but it does give me early our legacy vibes before our legacy decided to get really kind of um you know um coked up you know red wine drinking art house vibes right before they did that and they were still kind of grimy they was really they kind of were really more of a stussy thing but now they've kind of gone in their own little direction right so if you're like a little avant-garde um gallerist or you no know, a contemporary art gallerist and you're young you're coming up in a scene you wear our legacy maybe if you're if you're a dusty wannabe kind of dj guy maybe you could Put on a bit of stucci to kind of mix up your outfits but i do like that they have that range which probably makes their collaborations make a lot more sense but yeah some great stuff here great over shirts great colors the details the finishing and the thing i like about stucci too what they do which is what you know they've kind of taken the opposite approach what supreme do because i guess supreme's name and it kind of has a lot more cachet which is probably why they blast it all over the place but it seems like there was a concentrated effort it felt like a few years ago where they purposely started to plaster their name on everything that they did from like the arms that the logos went from being just like little little tabs that you'd have underneath on the side of a pocket or maybe an embroidered something that was maybe tonal to always being contrast badges like box red the box logo or something that will obviously sell more if you have like a box logo on your t-shirt even if it's a really tiny label the print the supreme written down on the sleeve on the back like always visible places but it feels like whenever stucci do stuff they do the opposite the, the logos are always a little bit more subtle maybe like look, even this one there's one here on the sleeve instead of it being right on the back or something or emblazoned on the front i love that i think that's what makes it and again it's not a big difference um, but I think it does make some difference for me in terms of visually because it allows me to take a piece that they make and either dress it up or down and then also the addition of suiting from them is just brilliant you've got this suit here double breasted I'm not too sure if that's like a tie dye that's a print it looks like a print but either way it just looks amazing nice and relaxed I love the fact that they are purposely holding the hand of their customer they kind of walk you in you buy a t-shirt you buy a t-shirt maybe with a script logo on it or whatever it is right the kind of um signature sean's the sean sushi basic signature or you buy a beanie with that or maybe something with the eight bull on it and then you kind of pro get progressed into maybe getting a pair of loafers maybe getting a snapback instead of a be beanie maybe you get a web belt instead of buying you know no belt all that sort of stuff and then slowly you, you get a suit for them as well that might introduce you into the other bits of suiting but it's so so good of course i got a sneak peek or maybe a future sneaker collaboration got no idea what they are though but yeah man it's all really nice great shirts great cardigans the styling's always brilliant they always have great models taking the pictures too instantly look cool in it wants you to make you once you makes you want to wear it look at this shirt this is effortless man anyone could wear this put this on it instantly looks good on anybody great check shirt again bits of jewelry too i wonder if that's all part of the new collection because it looks like they made an intentional effort to pop this little bracelet out these little chaps out i'm not sure if it's, it's intentional the buttons are oddly big here and that's a nice little mix up and i like that detail basically if you're not seeing this it's a check shirt um like i would say you know a standard check shirt and then it's got the addition of a really big pearly white button on one of the buttons just before the neck and then it's got the same big pearly button on one of the cuffs but then all the other buttons are quite small i love that because i guess they purposely made it in a way so they want you to button it on one button so it kind of lets the shirt kind of fly and loose when you're walking and shit oh quit the center streetwear and you have your little lanyard with your key oh no your lanyard your little um carabiner with your little keys on it dangling walking down the street feeling cool those are the days man those really were the days i wonder if those apples ones are part of the collaboration i like that car i like that combo though with the yoxford shirt it looks like no that's, i think that's the same shirt he's wearing beforehand with the big button and it's got a pair of white office one mids it looks like all highs but yeah all great man you can't go wrong when it comes to stussy um look at the jacket that looks fucking superb i'm not sure if it's like a chore they do these they, they do these jackets really well it feels like they reconstruct carhartt bits or wrangler i don't know what they are these kind of big heavy chore jackets and basically i don't know if they're as heavy but they still do a really good job with the distressing and the pockets and the shape like just ugh. so good man so good check flannel shirt looks good there too again nice cardigan -y type fleece that's a most of a fleece with a zip on it the wallabies 
but there's wallabies or bird no they're Birkenstocks okay Birkenstocks are like a different colorway so the Birkenstocks they released um a few no was it this this year right earlier this year um in those pastel colorways are going to come in a more darker colorway it looks like a suede green it looks like kind of so they look really good he has a fleece here with a zip just really easy cozy vibes man you can't go wrong when it comes to stussy look at that tracksuit that looks absolutely banging as well it looks great on the ladies as you see here that jacket that the guy had on earlier i love all of it man look at the models look at me how cool does she look in that stuff instantly want that whole outfit don't you if you're a girl like it, looks, it just looks all so so cool like look how cool that looks the pose even i love everything about it man but yeah big up stussy this collection is obviously in the stores right now so you know it's obviously a bit old news on my regard but i thought i'd highlight it anyway for those of you who wanted to purchase or were just interested in learning more so about that little brand